stable matching. The stable matching problem was introduced as a model of how to assign students to colleges since its introduction it has been the object of intensive study by both the computer scientists and the economists. In computer science, it is used as vehicle for illustrating basic ideas in the analysis of algorithms. In economics, it is used as a stylized model of labor markets. It has a direct real-world counterpart in the procedure for matching medical students to residencies in the United States. The simplest version of the problem involves a set M of uh, men and a set W of women. Each uh, little M in capital M has a strict uh, preference, ordering over the elements of W, and each uh, little W in capital W has a strict uh, preference ordering over the men. As uh, before, the preference ordering of agent I will be denoted greater than I, and the X greater than Y in I's perspective will mean that agent I ranks X above Y. A matching is an assignment of uh, men to women such that each man is assigned to at most one woman and vice versa. We can accommodate the possibility of an agent choosing to remain single as well. This is done by including for each man, woman, a dummy woman, man in the set WN that corresponds to being single or matched with oneself. With uh, this construction, we can always assume that the size of M is equal to the size of uh, W, capital M and capital W. As in the house allocation problem, a group of agents can subvert a prescribed matching by opting out. In a manner analogous to the house allocation problem, we can define a blocking set. A matching is called unstable. If there are two men M M prime, and the two women W W prime, such that one M is matched to W, two M prime is matched to W prime, and the three W prime is greater than W in M's perspective, and M is greater than M prime in W prime's perspective. The pair M W prime is called a blocking pair. A matching that has no blocking pair is called a stable. Given uh, the preference of the men and the women, is it always possible to find a stable matching? Remarkably, yes, using what is now called uh, the deferred acceptance algorithm, we described uh, the male proposal version of the algorithm. Definition 10.9, deferred acceptance algorithm, male proposals. First, each man proposes to his top-ranked choice. Next, each woman who has received at least two proposals, keeps tentatively her top-ranked proposal, and rejects the rest. Then each man who has been rejected proposes to his top-ranked choice among the women who have not rejected him. Again, each woman who has at least two proposals, including ones from previous rafts, keeps her top-ranked proposal and rejects the rest. The process repeats until no man has a woman, to propose to, or each woman has at most one proposal. At this point, the algorithm terminates, and each man is assigned to a woman who has not rejected this proposal. Notice that no man is assigned to more than one woman, since each woman is allowed to keep only one proposal at any stage. No woman is assigned to more than one man, therefore the algorithm terminates in a matching. We illustrate how the male proposal algorithm operates using example 10.8 above. In the first round, M1 proposes to W2, M2 to W1, and M3 to W1. At the end of the round, W1 is the only woman who has received two proposals, one from M3 and the other from M2. Since she ranks M3 above M2, she keeps M3 and rejects M2. Since M2 is the only man who has been rejected, he is the only one to propose again in the second round. This time, he proposes to M3. Now each woman has only one proposal and uh, the algorithm terminates with the matching M1 W2, M2 W3, M3 W2, the set of such three tuples. It is easy to verify that the matching is stable and that it is different from the one presented uh, earlier. 
Here in 10.40.10, the male proposed algorithm terminates in a stable matching. Proof suppose not. Then there exists a blocking pair M1, W1 and with M1 matched to M2, W2. Say W1 matched to M2. Since uh, M1, W1 is blocking and W1 is greater than W2 in M1's perspective, in the proposal algorithm, M1 would have proposed to W1 before W2. Since M1 was not matched with W1 by the algorithm, it must be because W1 received a proposal from a man that she ranked higher than M1. Since uh, the algorithm matches her to M2, it follows that M2 is greater than M1 in W1's perspective. This contradicts the fa fact that M1 W1 is a blocking pair. One could just as well have described an algorithm where the woman proposed, and the outcome would also be a stable matching. Applied to the example above, this would produce a stable matching different from the one generated when the men proposed. Thus, not only is a stable matching guaranteed to exist, but there can be more than one. If there can be more than one stable matching, is there a reason to prefer one to another? Yes, to explain why. Some notation. Denote a matching by mu. The woman assigned to man m in the matching. Mu is denoted the mu of m. Similarly, mu of w is the man assigned to woman w. A matching mu is male optimal. If there is no stable matching b, such that b of m is greater than mu of m in m's perspective, or b of m is equal to mu of m for o m, with v of j is greater than mu of j uh, in j's perspective for at least one j in m. Similarly, define female optimal. Here in 10.11, the stable matching produced by the male proposal deferred acceptance algorithm is male optimal. Proof, let mu be the matching returned by the male proposed algorithm. Suppose mu is not male optimal, then there is a stable matching v such that v of m is greater than mu of m in m's perspective, or v of m is equal to mu of m for o m, with the v of j is greater than mu of j in j's perspective for at least one j in capital M. Therefore, in the application of the proposal algorithm, there must be an iteration where some man j proposes to v of j before mu of j since v of j is greater than mu of j in j's perspective and is rejected by woman v of j. Consider the first such iteration. Since a woman v of j rejects j, she must have received a proposal from a man i. She prefers to man j. Since this is uh, the first uh, iteration in which a male is rejected by his partner on the v, it uh, follows that man i ranks woman v of j higher than v of i. Summarize i is greater than j in v of uh, j's perspective. And uh, v of j is greater than v of i from i's perspective, implying that v is not stable, a contradiction. Clearly, one can replace the word male by the word female in the statement of uh, the theorem above. It is natural to ask if there is a stable matching that would be optimal with respect to both men and women. Alas, no. The example above has two stable matchings, one male optimal and the other female optimal. At least one female is strictly better off under the female optimal matching than the male optimal one and no female is worse off. A similar relationship holds when comparing the two stable matchings from the point of view of the man. A stable matching is immune to a pair of agents opting out of the matching. We could be more demanding and ask that no subset of agents should have an incentive to opt out of the matching. Formally, a matching mu prime dominates a uh, matching mu if uh, there is a set S, which is a subset of uh, M union W, such that for all M and W in set S, both uh, 1, 
mu prime of m mu prime of w is in S, and the two mu prime of m is greater than mu of m in m's perspective, and u prime of w is greater than mu of w in w's perspective. Stability is a special case of this dominance condition. When we restrict attention to sets S consisting of a single couple, the set of uh, undominated matchings is called the core of the matching game. The next result is straightforward. During 10.12, the core of the matching game is the set of all stable matchings. Thus far, we have assumed that the preference ordering of the agents is known to the planner. Now suppose that they are private information uh, to the agent. As before, we can associate a direct revelation mechanism with an algorithm for finding a stable match. Here in 10.13, the directed mechanism associated with the male proposal algorithm is strategy proof for the males. Proof suppose not. Then there is a profile of uh, preferences pi equals to greater than in M1, greater than in M2, and so on, greater than in Mn, for the man such that man M1, say, can miss the report his preferences and obtain a better match. To express this formally, let mu be the stable matching obtained by applying the male proposal algorithm to the profile pi. Suppose M1 reports the, the preference ordering greater than star instead of uh, let uh, V be the stable matching that results when the male proposal algorithm is applied to the profile pi to the 1, which is equal to greater than star, greater than M2, and so on until greater than Mn. For a contradiction, suppose V of M1 is greater than mu of m1 in m1's perspective. For notational convenience, we will write a which is greater than or equals to b in m's perspective to mean that a is greater than to b in m's perspective or a equals to b. First, we show that m1 can achieve the same effect by choosing an ordering greater than pi where woman v of m1 is ranked first. Let pi to the two equals to greater than hat, greater than m2, and so on, until greater than mn. Knowing that v is stable with respect to the profile pi to the 1, we show that it is stable with respect to the profile pi to the 2. Suppose not, then under the profile pi to the 2, since there must be a pair m to v that blocks v, since v assigned to m1 is top choice, with respect to pi square, m1 cannot be part of uh, this blocking pair. Now the preferences of all agents other than m1 are the same in a pi to the 1 and a pi to the 2. Therefore, if m to be blocks v with respect to the profile pi square, it must block v with respect to the profile pi to the first, contradicting the fact that v is a stable matching under pi to the first. Let lambda be uh, the male proposed stable matching for the profile pi square, since uh, v is a stable matching with respect to the profile pi square, as lambda is uh, male optimal with respect to the profile pi square. It is follows that lambda of m1 equals to v of m1. Thus, we can assume that v of m1 is uh, the top ranked woman in the ordering greater than star. Next, we show that the set B equals to the set of MJ such that the mu of MJ is greater than V of MJ. In MJ's perspective, and such a set of B is empty. This means that all men, not just M1, are no bad words of under B compared to mu. Since v is a stable with respect to the original profile, pi this contradicts the real optimality of pi and uh, completes the proof. Suppose v is uh, not empty. Therefore, 
When the mail proposal algorithm is applied to the profile title first, each NJ in B is rejected by their match under mu, i.e. mu of MJ. Consider the first interaction of the proposal algorithm, where some MJ is rejected by mu of MJ. This means that woman mu of MJ has a proposal from man MK that she ranks higher, i.e. MK is greater than MJ, uh, in mu of MJ's perspective. Since MK was not matched to mu of MJ under mu, it must be that mu of MK is greater than mu of MJ in MK's perspective. Hence, MK is in B, otherwise mu of MJ is greater than or equal to MK times V of MK, which is greater than or equal to MK uh, of uh, mu of MK, which is greater than mu of MJ in MK's perspective, which uh, con is a contradiction. Since uh, MK in B and MK has proposed to mu of MJ at the time man MJ proposes, it means that MK must have been rejected by mu of MK prior to MJ being rejected, contradicting our choice of MJ. The mechanism associated with the male proposed algorithm is not stretch-proof for the females. To see why it is uh, enough to in consider example. The male proposal algorithm returns the matching M1, W1, M2, W3, M3, W1. In this course of the algorithm, the only woman who receives at least two proposals is W1. She receives the proposals from M2 and M3. She rejects M2, who goes on to propose to W3, and uh, the algorithm terminates. Notice that W1 is matched with her second choice. Suppose now that she has uh, rejected M3 instead, then M3 would have gone on to propose to W2. Woman W2 now has a choice between M1 and M3. She would uh, keep M3 and reject M1, who would go on to propose to W1. Woman W1 would keep M1 over M2, and in a final matching, be prepared with her first rank choice. It is interesting to draw an energy between the existence of stable matchings and that of a variation equilibrium. We know chapter 6 that variation equilibrium exists. Furthermore, they are the solutions of the fixed point theorem. In the cases where they can be computed efficiently, it is because the set of variation equilibria can be described by a set of convex inequalities. The same can be said of stable matchings. The set of a stable matching is fixed point of a non-decreasing function defined on a lattice. In accession, one can describe the set of stable matchings as the solutions to a set of uh, linear inequalities.